Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Today I've got another modification for a PC computer using the Windows magnifier. You guys know from my previous videos, I primarily use the Windows magnifier to zoom in and zoom out, but as you saw, I use the keyboard shortcuts here where you hold down the start button and you press the plus and the minus keys to zoom in and out. And it's worked great for me. I've gotten really good at feeling where it is very fast. Over the years, people have told me about getting specialized mice that will allow you to zoom in and out just by clicking a button on the mouse. And, and I've always thought, yeah, that's something I need to look into. So I recently had somebody send me an email and they linked to a video, a YouTube video on the channel Two Scoops 18, <laughs> which is a great name for a channel. But this video, they showed how to configure a mouse with extra buttons to work with Windows Magnifier. And it was super easy. It's super simple. It's awesome. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do that also. I recently got this mouse and it has two thumb buttons. Now by default they were set to backwards and forwards in web browsers so you can go back a page or forwards a page. But I used a free program to remap those buttons. Super easy. I'm going to walk you guys through the process. So now when I click on those buttons it zooms in, magnifies for me. And I'm only doing this with one hand on my mouse. Awesome, so awesome. Now that's one way to configure this setup. Later on I'm gonna show you guys another one that might work better for you. But let's jump into that program and I'll show you how to set this up with any mouse that has extra buttons. This will work with any kind of mouse. So the program we're gonna to use to configure our mouse buttons is called X Mouse Button Control. There'll be a link down below where you can find this. You just want to install it. It installs like a regular program. When it installs, you're going to find it down in your hidden icons area of your taskbar at the bottom right. We're just going to click it. The icon is a picture of a mouse and X mouse button control. We're just going to double click that. And it's going to open this window here. Now this can be very confusing and this isn't going to really going to be a tutorial on how to use this program 100%. This program is really really awesome because you can reconfigure your mouse buttons to do different things based on where you are on your computer. So I have a default profile which is just what my mouse is default. Wherever it is by default this is the profile I want it to have all the time. Then I have a Vegas Pro profile, which means that whenever I'm using this application, Vegas Pro, it changes my mouse configuration. So I've set up some special keyboard commands that I use in Vegas Pro a lot. I've set them up to some of the buttons on my mouse, which is going to speed up my editing tremendously. I'm so excited about that. So you can create profiles, but to start out, we're going to just edit the default profile. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so we can see these things. So over here, we have a list of buttons. All of these represent a button on your mouse. So in order to find out which one is which, you just need to click on a button. So like I'm going to click on my left mouse button and you see that one lights up. If I click on the right mouse button, that one lights up. If I scroll my wheel, scrolling down makes that one light up. Scrolling up makes that one light up. So you basically just find the one that you want to reconfigure and you can reconfigure any of your buttons. I want to reconfigure one of my thumb buttons. So if I click one, there it is, it lights up. And if I click this one, that one lights up. Now it's zooming in because I've already configured these, but say I want to configure this mouse button. All I do is click on it and a menu drops down here and this are, is all the different commands that you can assign to this button. And there are a lot. There are tons. You can assign it to a hotkey uh, or a keyboard command. So if there's, you know, 
pressing the control key. You can set that to your, your mouse button if you want. The left arrow, the right arrow, uh, there's media control, turning up the volume, turning down the volume. You can change it to a scroll wheel action. There's just a ton on here. But halfway down, you find magnifier toggle on off, magnifier zoom in, magnifier zoom out. That's the one you want to choose. So you want to choose whichever one you want to assign to that button. And then you just do the same for the other button. When you've got them set to where what you want, you just come down and you click apply and then close. And then your buttons will be assigned to the zooming in and out for the magnifier. And it's so much easier. Now, here's another option is instead of zooming in and out full screen, some people like to just use the lens. And so this is an option too. So you can have the magnifier turned off and then just click a button on your mouse and the lens pops on and you can read what you need to and then turn it off again. Maybe they want to see everything on the screen and then if they need to read something, they just click on the lens real quick and read it and then turn it off and then click it on if they need to read something else, turn it off. So some people might prefer that. That's another option as well. There you go, guys. It's really, really easy to get this set up with your mouse and the Windows magnifier. So definitely check it out. Thank you to everybody over the years who have suggested that I do this. Uh, I, it's better late than never. I'm glad I did. I should have listened to you guys sooner. <laughs> Big thanks once again to Two Scoops 18 over on YouTube for showing me the original video, showing me how to do this. I'll have a link to that video down below if you want to go over there and watch his video. And finally, a big thank you to you guys for watching this video. If you found it helpful, be sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all the videos coming out in the future. Don't forget to check out my Amazon shop where I will have this mouse, the mouse that I got. It's a great mouse. It's actually a gaming mouse, although I'm not a gamer, but it works great. Fits my hand perfectly. So I'll have this linked over in my Amazon shop. Link to the shop will be down in the description below. Thanks a lot, guys. Sam with the Blind Life. I'll see you next time.